time to put in the turn overland door. So got me a couple boards here. We're gonna just drive fit it first. Just make sure everything's good. We're gonna pop it back out. We're gonna run a bead of Loctite P&L Marine adhesive around it. Pop it back in, and then we're gonna screw it in. It's you get three screws on each side, and two in the bottom, and two in the top. So a total of ten screws. And then that uh, P&L bond it here, seal it. So if we get any bad weather coming in with this deck down, if it's that kind of bad weather, I think we'll have the deck up. But just in case, this will be good and sealed. So let's grab this door and let's get it put in. bench and slash cabinet made. This is going to be our seating once we come in the back door right on the right. And we've got one big drawer, two little drawers. It's the first of many that Daddy Bear is putting together. I think he did pretty good so far. It's looking great. Now it's going to be up to me to paint this sucker and all the rest of them because, you know, I'm the designated painter. <laughs> But we're also working on some bed boards for the boys. Just cut out a little slot so that they can crawl in without scraping their knees. I'm about to sand those. And what are you working on, Daddy? More cabinets. So this will be Logan and I's closet. And then above that will be the dirty clothes. Yeah, the dirty clothes add clothes up. Cabinet so thing. Yeah. on the van, we had an exterior solution. We just used like a tough box that we threw everything in and we don't quite have that space or luxury on the box truck here. So we're going to designate an entire cabinet to dirty clothes. All of you fellow van, car, box truck, RVers probably know the struggle with dirty clothes. They just kind of get everywhere. So it's nice to have a spot to put those in. But yeah, I think it's going to work out well. You were worried about where we're going to put the dirty clothes. And we also have to figure out a out. trash solution too so we're not quite sure what we're going to do with that but we have a couple things in mind but we have to see this come together a little bit more before we pull the trigger on anything so all right let's get back to work is this one mine what you got well i don't know but don't try to pull me down your rabbit hole are cramping. That is going to wrap up today's work. Um, quite a productive day. Kirk got quite a bit of done with our cabinets for his closet and Logan's closet and where our dirty clothes are going to go. I got the bed boards sanded. Kirk got half of the back wall done and finished with the wall boards up. And when we dry fitted our shower wall there so that our tub will fit in and uh, we had to just wow. kind of fix some of that plywood so that you know the plywood's kind of warped all this wood is warped it's crazy you can't buy a straight sheet of plywood or any kind of wood anymore it's kind of crazy i think we're gonna go make some dinner and we'll be back at it tomorrow morning stay tuned so boys what help me figure this out
we got to figure out a color for the wall by the kitchen. we got to figure a color under the cabinets. we got to figure Mom, a color under the, the cabinet fronts. Mom, there will be the color under the cabinets. Yeah, that's a little too bright, bro. All right, so this is the fun part. This is where I get to express a little bit of my creativeness. I'm trying to pick out paint colors and I'm trying to piece together what the inside of the box is gonna look like, the interior part, when we don't even have everything in place. It's kind of difficult to do. So I've got some samples of things that I know are gonna go in there. Just got our cushions in here that are gonna go on the bench. I know what our backside is roughly gonna look like. We're trying to piece together our kitchen and I'm right now kind of like knee deep trying to pick out paint colors. And some are so close together, like I can't even hardly tell the difference between the two and I'm indecisive as it is. That's just my nature and one of my downfalls. So this is harder than I thought it would be. And of course this lighting in here isn't helping any because it's completely different tone and hue than what's gonna be in the box. I know what you're thinking. I know I'm probably overthinking it all. I just need to go with the color and it's not a big deal, right? Well, it's still my home and I still want it to look nice and it's fun, albeit could be stressful, but it's a good kind of stress. We gotta make another run to the Home Depot here in the next day or two, so we gotta pick out some colors, get it solidified because Kurt is working away on getting those cabinets and benches and the kitchen put together. So those are gonna be painted very, very soon and I gotta have something picked out. And we kinda have to limit our runs anywhere because obviously our only vehicle is the truck. So it's difficult to just close everything up on a minute's notice and get out of here. So we have to plan our trips in advance. So when we go to the grocery store, we also go to the Home Depot. We also go get whatever other supplies we might need and just try to limit the number of trips that we make into town for that reason. So wish me luck. Good morning. We have got a busy day today. So the past few days have been pretty cold, kind of yucky weather. We finally, I think, are done with the cold snap and are looking forward to some warmer temps, which means we can paint and stain and seal. And we've got a lot of that to do. Uh, but before we do any of that, today we're hoping to get at least one of our doors and windows installed. So we're gonna cut a couple of pretty big holes in the side of our box here and that always makes me nervous. I just hope we get it right the first time, you know, <laughs> as would anyone. So we've got a couple of cardboard templates that we already made. We've been to Home Depot several times. I finally got my paint colors chosen, so I'm excited about that. Fingers crossed uh, that today goes well without any problems. This is always nerve wracking, cutting into a van, box truck, anything like this. You got one chance, you gotta measure multiple times, double, triple check that this will work. The only real challenge with the box truck is you have these rivets here. So you gotta make sure that your lip of uh, the window on the outside isn't on one of these. So the reason we're so close to this one is on the on the other side in the kitchen, we have a backsplash that's gonna be going up and we measure the thickness of it. So we're trying not to cut like a little sliver. Or we're trying to basically put one of those backsplash tile pieces in so to make it easier. We'll see how it turns out at the end. We just definitely wanna make sure that this lip on the window on the outside clears. Besides that, it should be fairly simple. You know, this is a stud inside. My, my plan is, is to cut from stud over this side of the stud and then from this side of the stud over and then actually cut the stud out the bottom first and then the top out last so that it comes out so that it'll keep this stuff from flapping as bad when I'm cutting around. That's the plan. We'll see how it uh, unfolds.
Well, lesson learned on this one. Um, just messed up a little bit. At least I didn't go through the aluminum plate, but I scratched it up pretty good, which, you know, we're gonna take this thing, it's probably gonna get scratched up. And it's kind of nice that, you know, I actually scratched it up or messed it up. It just seems like with vehicles in the past, someone else is banging it up or denting it up or scratching it up and it's not me. So at least it was my, my mistake, but, but I know a way to fix it. So when I get to this stud part, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cut it from the back. The plan was is cutting a little bit on the front and then finish it off in the back. But I think I'm gonna try to cut everything from the back side. So just in case something happens, it's on the back side and not the front. So I actually got the door marked out. So I'm gonna set this up for a little time lapse. We'll get this door cut out. Here we go. We got two holes in the side of the box. It looks like both the door and the window fit. Uh, we just kind of dry fitted them in. We got to go and actually frame out both of them now. So Kurt's going to get busy working on that. And we're just chugging along. That took all morning. You know, we probably spent at least one or two hours measuring for both of those. That's the hard part. The cutting's just, the easy. Yeah, just got to frame the door. The window, we got to actually get it completely done inside because it clamps on the finished wood inside the tongue and groove this the door we can get in as soon as we get the frame up we're gonna put some pnl marina adhesive on there and we're gonna clamp it and we're gonna let it sit overnight hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be putting this thing in if it's dry enough yeah and the weather looks good too so that's always a plus because we don't want <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple big holes in here open holes bit. uh overnight hopefully the critters stay away and that little road runner doesn't hop <laughs> in the truck and help himself to it. But yeah, it's looking good coming along. It is 120. Hopefully we can get the rest of this framed out this afternoon and put it in tomorrow. All right, what a day. I think we got a lot done. We got an upper done. We got the bench done. We got a window cut in. We got a door cut in. Uh, we got some sanding done on the floor. We're gonna be staining uh, that here real soon. We're gonna be getting these cabinets in here real soon. We're gonna get them painted and sealed. And I'm gonna start on the kitchen cabinets next couple days. This thing's really gonna change in the next week. I'm hoping by, today is a Saturday. Hoping by the following Saturday, We'll have this thing pretty much wrapped up besides the little detail stuff. Hopefully get about 95% done. So I'm beat. I'm calling it a day and we'll catch you guys in the morning. All right. It is the next morning after we cut these big holes in the side of the box here. It looks like everything is holding up well. The wood is adhering. Sat overnight with the open holes here and thankfully no critters got inside. Today is going to be a busy day of staining the floor inside here. Kurt's busy building more of our storage areas, our cabinets for the kitchen and maybe some overhead storage for the bench and above our shower here. It's kind of my time to do a little bit of work and that uh, painting, sanding, sealing, you know, all that good stuff. So we got a lot to do. Let's get busy.